My name is Beast Boy. You better hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we can do. I am going to try to record a new chore or well, new to this playlist at the least, which is mowing the lawn. I already raked the leaves this morning. I started around uh, 0600 hours. And I also made a little video, which was a little tribute to uh, my uh, my siblings, bless their soul. And um, yeah, so I wanted to listen to music originally while I mowed the lawn, but I figured, what the F? I'm gonna have to age restrict the video that I made for my sisters just because uh, I do not want anybody under age having to hear that kind of language expressed in that kind of way. Now, to me, foul language is not really foul unless when you say it to cause harm or to cause, you know, like to like make somebody feel bad. All right, let's see if we can catch this. Let me see what I got here. Yeah, that'll work. All right.
tripod. This normally I put right up here while I listen to music. My little Bluetooth. Papa Alex won't lend me his uh, Beats headphones anymore. I don't know why. I guess because he knows that they're really nice. It's an Apple product. I mean, it's branded under Beats, but Apple did buy the Beats brand. And uh, just so you guys can take a look what I did this morning. Just this morning alone, like I said, starting at 0, 0600 hours. All of this I put in here, obviously. That big black bag filled to the brim with leaves. That was from the kitchen. I think Quick I side note, is. that big black bag, I do there was people that came and, and did, um, Papa Alex does. they cut the grass the across the street, Alex. and now we, Whenever our whole front well, of our house is Papa filled with leaves is all over like, again. Like, I don't feel well to go pick up Mariah. He saves my life. I didn't mean to cut that part off, but I was mentioning how Papa Alex helps me tremendously when I don't feel well. Um, like how he helps me with Mariah and everything else. He does a whole lot for her. No, because some of the grass as you can see like it's like br like brown like it looks like it needs to like water I set the I set the mower on level four so it doesn't cut it as low that way um maybe it's better like that so it's not against the sun that way it doesn't cut it too short
Island, we live in suburbia, correct? We can only go like you get the people travel to work. Let's just take 10 miles. I don't even know. So plan a route on the website called Map. That's MS and Harry. There's an apple, P of the Peter, S of the Sam, Dot, Google. The app is pretty neat. It shows you all of the, like, like how do you call it? Before you get on the bus, it even shows you that you have to walk to the bus stop. It shows you, like, hey, you gotta walk here, it's gonna take X amount of minutes. So we're off to the bus stop, we the bus. We're flying through all that, okay? We travel 10 miles to wherever it is you gotta go. And if you wanna do it, if you wanna do it realistically, make it so you have to get on two buses to get to where you are. More, more, it's, that's more realistic that you have to get on two buses. And then if you're done doing that, Drop a comment down below and let me know how it went on your uh, public transit journey, okay? Trust me, public transit, I'm going to put a channel, I'm going to put the link to a channel down in my description. Two links actually, one. A gentleman based here in the uh, United States, and he pretty much mentions everything about public transit and about how I, I agree with a lot of his like philosophies and, uh, and, and his train of thought. You know how car ownership, all it is, it, it's a trap. Alright, right now, this part right here, which I'm going to show you guys. This part right here, this is the biggest part to mow. So, it just starts from right here from the sidewalk. The problem with the sidewalk is, I have to get the edger working. If not, the only way I can get these edges done is with scissors. I'll show you an example right now real quick. But it's really annoying. I, I need scissors. I watered the trees today, but I gotta water them again. I'm, I'm, see, these are the gloves I used this morning. Oh my goodness, see, they got wet and look how dirty they got. Because um, I'm trying, I gotta do as much work as I can because mom and dad are looking out for me because uh, this, I got scammed into this marketplace insurance. Marketplace is just what they call the insurances from the Affordable Care Act. And let me tell you, I got scammed into it. Worst thing that could have happened. All right, the first month, it was complete chaos, just complete hell, okay? You know, I went to a, I went to a pharmacy that was listed. Oh, this should be dry by now. Let's clean this real quick, the doors. Sometimes there's like little bugs. See, but mom and dad, they never notice it. But you know why? Because I always clean it before they have a chance to. There's a lot of things that I try to do before they even tell me to do it. That way they never even realize, you know, hey, they, didn't, they, they never come up to me and say, hey, David, clean this for me. No, because it's already done. They probably forgot that this shit even gets dirty. That's how long it's been that I've been cleaning this without them asking me to. I try to do everything because they're retired, they worked their whole lives. And me, I worked 
even though the only problem with my, my work, I work half the time formal jobs and half the time informal jobs. So it's almost like it doesn't count all the work that I did because I didn't pay taxes, but I also wasn't making that much. But I, you know, I guess I was just giving these guys way too good deals. I was young and they were just looking for young laborers, you know, and I was fast, I was fast as shite. And now these business owners, keep in mind, these business owners, they get paid, right, per commission. So meanwhile, they make like three, four, five hundred dollars a day. They'll pay me like 60 bucks, 80 if I'm lucky. So, but I didn't know any better. I even worked for the company once. And then when I worked for the company, you wanna know what the difference was? When I, when I did uh, when I did it by myself, instead of being a helper, I was making up like thousands a week sometimes. Thousands of dollars in my pocket. Of course, it's a lot of hard work. And sometimes I even need the help. See, oh, you gotta be careful. See all that shit right there? Let's get clean this up. Best we can get all that dirt off. Oh, period. I need to get it. Oh, shit. Right there, look at all that dirt. But you can't really see it, but. <sighs> see, and like things like this. Mama, Mama Vilma's never gonna watch this video. So she will never notice. She will never know all the shit that I do, never. And yet every time that she sees me, she's always complaining about how something's dirty, something thinks are smelly, you know, this and that. Meanwhile, all of the shit that I do, doesn't matter if I record it, she's not gonna see it. As a matter of fact, everything that I did this morning I had to text her because that way she would at least acknowledge the fact, or you know what, now that this is here, this is uh, my better half, which she's supposed to use to help her walk, but she barely uses it. I use it to clean up up here. Places where I can't really get to that well. This uh, this little broom was all wet today because I had to, uh, like I said, I was working in, uh, well, Papa Alex had turned on, see over here, dirt picks up over here, so let's just pass it through real quick. Those little details like that, like, you know, like dusting, when you dust. I even started dusting lately. I mean, not as much as I should. And I was also telling Mama Vilma today that one of the reasons why I haven't been mopping a lot lately is because the damn hose that I always use to make the mop, which is on the side of the garage, is being used for something, something to do with the with the uh, with the sprinklers. But that's the best place for me to make buckets because the other hose is right by uh, it's right by uh, how do you call it? By, by, by Mama Vilma's will, a window where she sleeps. So, and then sometimes I like to clean at night when everybody's sleeping, that way I don't get bothered because if it's one thing about me, I'm the I'm like the valet, I'm the official valet of the house. So in other words, anybody needs anything, I'm like the go-to person. Mariah needs something to eat that needs to be made at home. If not, she'll go to Papa Alex when she wants to eat out. Except on, even on Saturdays now lately because things have been so hard. I haven't even been able to afford her our, our Saturday ritual. Thank good. Praise Papa Alex. Papa Alex, alabanza tu nombre. Rey, rey, mi rey. Por ayudarme a cuidar a mi hija. Y darle las cosas que yo no le puedo dar because I wanted to make it a tradition because I know structure is very important in life. So I wanted to make a tradition that on Saturdays, 
I would get her Chick-fil-A because she likes Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Look more dirt up here, clean all that up. All right, see, all that shit, nice and, oh wait, there's more over there. Let's clean some more of that up there. I talked to Mama Vilma. Oh look, look at my, there's 7-Eleven, hi 7-Eleven, my little babies. I talked I talk to Mama Vilma, I said, Mama Vilma, what, uh, those trees out there, when are we gonna have to plant them? And she mentioned something about, oh, Alexandra. I told her, yeah, we're gonna plant Alexandra, I want an apology. Because if you see the video before this one, you guys will see why. Alexandra, if, if it's true, allegedly, 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 because uh, has not been confirmed, it's just something I heard. But allegedly, the reason why they don't want to talk to me is because I asked for charity. What did I do? Let's get out of here. Go back to camera. All right, still shooting good. I asked for charity, but you, you may wonder, why do I not ask my sisters for charity? I'll tell you why. Because they worked hard for their money, number one. And I don't want to bother them for it. And number two, they wouldn't give me money anyways because they think I'm a piece of shite. They don't realize that I'm not the same person today that I was yesterday. Today, just like I say in all my videos, dia dia familia. Today is the only day that we have. All right. If you want to live in the past, just like just like, just like Outcast says, focus on the past. Your ass will be a has what? Your, your ass will be a has what? So, we gotta live for the moment, all right? Now, heaven knows, heaven knows me, that's all that matters. And the only reason I wanted, I wanted to reach out to them is because I've learned that, you know, Family is what counts. Now, I never, I was never able to make it to their homes a lot, but if you think about it, I don't have a metal box. I suffer from anxiety. Let's say I go to the house, right? With mom and dad. The other thing you know about is that I cannot leave the house by itself. I'm trying to point to the floor. The only way I could do these weeds without a weed eater I gotta take a scissor and I gotta start cutting like this. And take this. Cut, cut, cut. Cut, 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 cut. Cut, 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 cut. Cut, cut. Alright, and now that I cut a little bit, I grab the. This. And you see that dirt? That dirt is from all of all, all the overgrown grass. And you see all these leaves? These leaves, I literally just picked them up this morning and they're back. <laughs> Effing crazy. I even got pictures of it. You guys want proof? I probably will put the pictures up towards the end of the video. What it looked like just a few hours ago. Okay, so now you guys see what it looks like when it's somewhat, somewhat edged. You see the difference? Edging and then no edging. But the problem is when when the when when this grass overgrows too much, it's too much for uh for for uh is it called the weed eater? Yeah, the weed eater. The edger is is usually like the metal blade, I think. You can use a weed eater as an editor, you just turn it upside down. But with uh, weed eaters, which are usually the ones that you use to trim like the size of trees, like you know, like like this little shy right here. This is the weed right here, you know. The problem with weed eaters, they're not really made to handle grass that has overgrown so much. They're not really made to they're not equipped to do to, to handle that. So you got yourself a pickle. But with this little trusty scissor here and a little bit of manual labor, 
Let's do a little bit more, just so you guys can see just another sample. I guess I already told this video is gonna run a little bit longer. So, me apologize. I'm gonna see maybe I'll get in the Chromebook and make some, and I'm gonna, or, I, or I'm gonna dub it in Spanish. I gotta do one of the two so I can uh, try to expand my audience, just like how Mr. Beast is, is Espanol. Mr. Beast, or Mr. Beast Team HR, David Alejandro Guevara, yellow box underscore, yellow underscore box, come on. You guys know what's up. Remember, I'm looking for a J-O-B. I even applied for Mr. Beast for crying out loud. It wasn't a job opening, I created it. But I need something. I need to work. My daughter's going into, my daughter's trying to start middle school. I want her to be proud of dad. I'm proud of her. I can't say that she's the same for me, but I want to make her proud. And not just that, I want to make mom and dad proud. I want mom and dad to be able to rest in peace. They can't do that, you know, unless I start getting my SSI check because I am mentally disabled. And heaven knows I will definitely suffer a psychotic breakdown when I lose my parents. One, I can handle because I got a little bit of experience. But two, shy. Ain't no way in heaven I can handle that. I put the broom up there so the shite doesn't go all over the place. I'm gonna try to see if I can, I'm gonna keep this minute. I'm gonna try to see if I keep on the, you know what, I don't care. I'm not gonna, who, who cares about the lens? Actually, I do because, all right, lift this lid. Oh, trying to hold the iPhone between, ah, uh, se cayó. I hope I didn't hit the stop button. Oh no, I didn't hit the stop button. All right. So there, I just did a little bit more weed eating. Weeds grow out of here. I picked out a bunch of weeds from over there, but see, they keep growing. All this shit right here is weeds, 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 weeds. The only weed I care to grow is marijuana. And that would be, but the problem with mar mar growing marijuana is not as easy as people think. They think, oh yeah, I'll just grow some marijuana. Yeah, you wanna grow some fucking, I mean, you wanna grow some, uh, sh you know, shite with a whole I would apologize about stems. talking about such a subject, but you got, you, marijuana you is really basically legal all over the place now. And Truth be known, grow, more people die from smoking tobacco than from smoking all, marijuana. But that's not to say off. that marijuana cannot right away, cause lung cancer. It's just there's not, just hasn't been, um, Unless you, you know, have, confirmed you as much you're an as electrical cigarettes. Engineer, or you have a friend who's an electrical engineer and a private contractor, and they're willing to do something illegal for you. And that would be set up an electric grid. Um, for those like of you who may not know, uh, having a grow house requires a lot of electricity. Uh, I have known cases of people who own grown house, grow houses, and the houses have set on fire. And also on top of that, you have to have proper ventilation. Your neighbors will be able to smell it. If you don't do it right, you have to have a filtration system. And the lights have to be set properly. You have to maintain proper care of the plants. So that way, you, and you have to also know your basic, doing, um, like you know, uh, a lot of time things in the black what is it called about plants? Report, Not the, uh, you know, that way you, you know which one's it's males, which one's females. That way, as soon as you see a, a male see sprout, you consumed, take that uh, out. Grid, that way, it has does not have a chance to pollinate less, into know, the like female the, plant uh, because at the end of the day, all you want are females because. Uh, so if you, you want that. higher quality, a higher quality strain for sale, which is going to fe fetch more money, you're going to want it to be without any seeds. Yeah, really and also, it also depends really on the um, 
seed that you re uh, acquire because there are seeds that have been genetically modified so that they contain a higher amount of THC. That's what generally what you call Snoop Dogg weed. That's the type of weed that you take a couple hits off and you don't know where you are. One thing I noticed myself that I cut myself off saying was um, how uh, world powers you know, are able to, to know addict, how well their economies are doing despite of the like, fact you know, that a lot uh, of the markets in a lot of the countries are black markets. Black markets usually well, yeah, are businesses that are either choice, not registered properly through uh, the proper authorities, whether it be I through like so city permits, drugs. county I permits, state permits, you know, uh, 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 country uh, permits. I don't know exactly how it works um, in your jurisdiction. So one way that they're able to drugs. tell how well the their economy is, is doing is that, that by the, the consumption of electricity. Invented. When um, a country is doing well, in other words, the people are uh, doing, uh, you know, they're, they're making money regardless whether they uh, pay their taxes or not morphine. there's going to be a and higher consumption of electricity in a place where people are more morphine, affluent it's actually derived from uh the god of sleep i think the proper name is morpheus so that's why because morphine makes you sleepy but sabine is different sabine it still has analgesic properties because you know it's part of an, it's part of the poppy plant, but it also has energetic effects. That's why people that take um, you know the oxycontin or roxycodone, those are the name brands. They um they end up doing like they end up cleaning the house, you know, even though they were hurting like before they took the medication and they couldn't do anything. Next thing you know, they're in Superman mode. You know what I'm saying? Cleaning up the house. I'm in Superman mode right now, but I had myself my hearty breakfast. I actually had my sandwich today on rye, which was actually pretty damn good. That was actually pretty damn good. I had, um, what I did was I took two pieces of rye, the biggest pieces because uh, in Publix Bakery, the rye bread it's like little pieces and it's like sh it's shaped kind of like not an egg like the bottom is flat but it goes like this so i got the biggest pieces i took a slice of monster cheese and a slice of uh swiss cheese the slice was too big for the bread so i just took a little piece i put it in the middle you know the part that was hanging off threw it in the um oven that i normally use to make uh uh, the baby's chicken strips that I have still haven't shot a royalty food on where I made the whole thing and yesterday I figured out a way to make it even better um, I'll explain that in a minute and um, reason being is because I made eight and I, and after I already made eight I just said I asked her like how many do you want she said seven I'm like okay I gave her seven and then I tried one and after trying it that's when I realized I'm like you know what I think I could make this a little bit better but I, it's like I said, once you start cooking, you know, and you start learning like the different things in the, in the kitchen, you know, conventional oven, uh, toaster oven, mid-sized oven, uh, an air oven, air convection oven, uh, what other kinds of ovens are there? Toaster ovens, you know, and then you know how to boil water what kind of pots you got to use if you're going to use a quart of water if you're going to use a half a quart uh you got it's always better if you're gonna if you're gonna uh you know to put a lid if, you, if you're gonna boil the water um find proper size lids thank goodness mama vilma has everything for the kitchen and since i'm the one that puts everything away i know where everything is so ask me to make anything bam 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 i, don't, I already know where everything is it was fun the other day i wasn't feeling well and i had put the the things to wash the night before and the next day since i wasn't feeling well i wasn't able to put the stuff away and the stuff was just put away like on this like on the counter i literally had to like put everything in this place anyway so this is what edging let's see if we can get like a shadow kind of looks like 
you see and then let's see where it stopped and then right over here see if it will continue it will continue to go straight through here right there that's where our property ends you see the gate right there so it would be like right around right around here so from here to about here but i'm not gonna do that right now because i'm gonna continue with the mowing of the lawn let's see check out some cinematography how does it look nope i gotta make it go down more go down a little more i'm putting my hat right now if i put, if i go like that wait like that all right so like that all right that looks like it's, it should it should grab it all right let's continue okay in the following scene i'm not too sure how great the shot was i don't know if this is considered cinematography or uh what the dp would do director of photography i'm not exactly i'm not too good with the lingo with uh recording with making videos i should take a class but i apologize if uh, i did not get a good shot here
doesn't have to be women, it can be men too. Women, men can be victims of sex trafficking. Pharma, they bribe, well, I'm sorry, not bribe, they, uh, they lobby a lot. So, because of that, like, well, I didn't realize Henry Ford had actually built a car made out of hemp. He was looking for a car made out of something sustainable. But they didn't like the idea because they, you know, one of the things that you get off hemp is associated with, uh, you know, it has that bad stigma. Henry Ford 
Here comes another part where I place the camera in not a great view, sorry. I am so, so, so sorry that you had to see a disgusting shot of my undies. I sincerely apologize to all who are watching. I am so sorry. I was trying to talk thinking that uh, the Bluetooth speaker would be able to uh, record me pretty decently. In this part right here, I was talking about how driving is something that uh, essentially at first when you're young or when you're first doing it, you might enjoy it and have fun. But eventually with time, and I see this in a lot of people that they usually have negative things to say towards other drivers even though the drivers can't even hear them that's not something that you normally would do if you're just walking up the street if someone's walking slow in front of you you might say excuse me and you know and get through out of the way but you know in cars people usually are say things that are not that nice let's just say our citizens when I mean the programming of our citizens I mean that for instance let's take a look at two things that we have in our country right now that currently exist one of them is Medicare the other one is uh, uh, Social Security those two things right there 
Those are things that exist amongst socialist countries. So we already have socialistic trends in this country. People just don't acknowledge it, or or if they do acknowledge it, they act like, oh, that's nothing, you know, whatever. So, but whenever they hear socialism, all they think about is, the problem is that people in this country, since capital is all that matters, you know, wealth, power, people don't want to lose that wealth, people don't want to lose that power. So when they hear about socialism, they constantly get afraid because they think they're going to have to share their shite with other people. All right, so that's it for that. There is one bit left that I did not do, which I'm going to show you guys right now. It's called the island. This is called an island in landscaping. So when I was visiting Colombia in the 2000s, I had a motorcycle. And mom and dad asked me, uh, David, can we sell your motorcycle and uh, so we can get ourselves a driveway? I was like, yeah, sure, why not? I didn't care. I, don't, I couldn't care. I don't, whatever, it don't matter. So that's what they did. They got this driveway. So this driveway was paid for by a motorcycle that I once owned. This is a driveway. It's a circular driveway. The difference, the only other difference between this driveway would be one like this one. This is just a straight in driveway. It just goes straight into the garage. And then they have a sidewalk that goes, you see the sidewalk right there? It goes towards the front entrance. So those are the two types of driveways that we have here. And then when you have these driveways, you have two types. You have um, ones that are made out of real concrete blocks. And then this is not real concrete blocks. These are like, uh, I forget what they're called, but it's not real concrete. So the island is this part right here. Usually in gardening, an island is just a little area that is covered by other parts of like, you know, it could be sidewalk and then the, and then the whatever. And here we got two coconut trees, the big one, which I think is probably about like four story tall, four stories tall. You get by one of those coconuts, you could be, you could be dead. We have the short one, that one right there. Probably never grew too tall. I'm guessing because the amount of sunlight, it doesn't receive as much sunlight because of this, this tree right here. This is an enormous tree. Look at the size of this tree. That's a beaut. And this gentleman has, I think, two mango trees, I believe, in his backyard. That's Mr. Wilson's house. Mr. Wilson, he is the shy man. That man is a, a walking god. That's Eric's house. My friend, uh, Jeremy, that's his brother. He's pretty cool. You know, he's cool considering the fact that you know, he's a police officer. I'm not one, well, no, he's cool because I know his family. I know his mom, I know his brother. And even though him and I, we might not be best of friends or we don't really talk too much. I try my best, you know, just to, you know, obviously I respect him, of course. You know, he's, he's a hardworking gentleman and, you know, and uh, he, he takes care of his things. So, you know, he takes care of his house. You know, he has a lot of nice toys, which he deserves. And like I always say, you know, I always, you know, if I do pray for him, I always pray. I'm like, you know, please bless him with a boring day, which I don't know if he appreciates that too much. Because I know maybe some people, they like to see action, but I'd rather him, you know, not have to pull out his gun. I'd rather, you know, people not be rude to him. You know, I'd rather him, you know, just have, a, you know, a nice, easygoing day, you know, maybe break up a couple of things or, you know, but, you know, you know, just do, do, do simple things. But it's a good thing that police, they, they do have, um, they, they have some procedures they have to follow to keep, you know, for, to ensure their safety. But nonetheless, it's still a very dangerous job. So, you know, I will say this daughter, about my neighbor, Eric. Officer. You don't want to I'd mess be with him. Scared, but He's I'd a have to respect him for that. Tough mother effort. To be. All right, so I'm gonna finish the mowing for now. I didn't completely finish. I'll do this. If I don't do this today, I might do it tomorrow. Um, I watered the trees this morning. I'm gonna water them again. Probably make another coffee, and then also I gotta check the time because I gotta pick up the baby at uh, 1400 hours. I already got her learning. Um, she already knows 1400 when I say what time to throw up. Holy shit. This 
this is the aloe plant that looks like it's started dying, but it's growing again. Let's take off some of these dead leaves right here. I'm gonna have to show this to mom. Uh, some of these, these are weeds. Damn, look at the size of that weed. This is my soccer ball that I found one day. I like kicking it around once in a while. That's one thing I said when Messi came down here. I said, well, I ain't gonna watch not a single Messi game when he's down here. He didn't even answer me when I uh, made a message to him. Maybe I'll make another short today. Now that he's uh, injured, maybe he's got more time on his hands. So these uh, palm fronds, obviously to make them fit into the garbage. Gotta, I usually use two hands, but now that I have, I'm trying to use a hand and a foot just to bend it up. So it goes like that, it fits inside there, and so none of it sticks out. Garbage already almost full. Today is Thursday, garbage comes by tomorrow. I'll finish fin picking that up. That's it, ladies and gents. That was uh, mowing the grass. Now, I saw limes were, were plants, but these are trees. They only grow up to be about two to four feet tall. This one's right now maybe about three feet tall. I put these things here thinking that maybe it's not supposed to grow outwards, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm about to take it off. I've been trying to water a little bit more than usual. Uh, there was one tree that Mama Vilma told me I need to put more... Um, more dirt on i gotta find out which one it is and then uh mango tree not looking too good right here on the bottom and i don't think that's from uh radiation look at that plant i just took it off top ones look good and then uh no way that's not this is the mango tree so that means this this, this is the haas this is a Haas tree, Haas Haas, Mango, Florida. This is, a, this is the baby Florida. And then my uh, uh, Semilla, 22nd, and 7-Eleven. I gotta start watering these plants. And then like, look, see these little weeds, these little green things? Every day, always picking some new weeds. You can come out here every single day, you'll find a new weed every single day of the week, no matter what. And let me tell you something. You wanna lose some weight? Take up gardening, okay? But number one thing I gotta say, stay hydrated, okay? Stay hydrated, hydrated, hydrated. I cannot express that anymore. Especially here in, well, you know, in the, like the Sun Belt states, like Florida, um, Teja, um, Los Angeles, you know, Arizona, all them states. Hydrated, hydrated, hydrated. All right, because that is the number number one thing. You could definitely suffer from like a like a heat like a heat heat exhaustion or heat stroke end up going to the hospital run you five ten grand and when I was younger I didn't care about owing bills. I was just like every time I got a letter in the mail I never even opened it. But now I'm I'm a little bit more like I wanna to try to be a little bit more responsible so and also I it just gets tired of getting the letters after a while. I still really don't care, but I want to start paying back, especially to Memorial because their pharmacy has the best prices in town besides Publix. But 
I gotta try to stick with Publix because Publix is closer and I need everything to be within walking distance because I don't have a metal box. I don't have a metal death trap. A metal box, which is a death trap. Now, like I said, hey, everybody's got different opinions, you know? If you enjoy driving, you know, good for you. I'm happy, you know? If you really think it's that fun, but let me tell you something. You don't know what driving is until you've driven a Porsche. It doesn't even have to be a 488. It can be a 480 Spider. all right? You drive a Porsche 480 Spider. you redline that motherfucker. Man, that shit is better than being in a roller coaster. I don't like Lamborghinis too much because they're not, for an everydayer, I wouldn't like them too much. But a Porsche, now that's driving a car. So if you guys out there think you enjoy driving cars because you got your little Chevrolets or you got your little Lexus, unless you got that one Lexus that um that never okay, came out. Okay, I that had one to Lexus, look it up. It's the Lexus is the LFA, that car was, and that like car, car, even though it's about um, ten years old. I forgot it what the name of the model was. Still beyond really its time as of today. That one Lexus was the exception. Um, and my dream car is a Honda NSX. Or or here in the States, we call it an Acura NSX. That car, I would that would be my daily driver. And then also, you don't even need to have a super expensive. You don't even need a super car to, to drive. One time, I drove... A Honda S2000. Now, if you don't know what a Honda S2000 is, I recommend you watch this movie called The Fast and the Furious. You guys can just fast forward. This is just One me of those showing you a Honda S2000. I had about an eighth of a mile track, only even a quarter mile. Within that eighth of a mile, I redlined it in first gear. I was already doing a hundred kilometers an hour without shifting into second. <laughs> Ciao. Oigan, se me había olvidado. Esto es bien importante. Al final de cada vez que tú uh, cortas la hierba, siempre tienes que vaciar la basurita. Entonces, esto es bien simple. A ver si lo puedo cogerlo desde aquí. Ah, ok. Ah, ahí si lo puedo coger. Ok, sí, ok. Entonces, solo esto, no sé si lo pueden ver, esto aquí lo alzo. Y esto mismo aquí se alza. Se va a caer un poquitico. Normalmente yo uso guantes, pero mis guantes están... Uno está todo mojado y el otro está atrás en el patio. Y uno de mis guantes se lo robaron, uno de los buenos. Yo creo que alguien que estuvo aquí trabajando un día. Yo he tenido como... 12 pares de guantes. O ocho, se me olvida, creo que vienen cuatro pares por cada unidad en, en la tienda de Home Depot. Entonces, todos los mugres que se caen, vamos a recogerlos. La razón por la que hago eso es para que cuando alce esto sea más liviano. Y ahora vamos a, vamos a hacer algo bien rapidito. Okay. Mira la bolsa. Menos mal que ya mañana pasa la basura. Todo, otra vez, todo eso fui yo. 
De pronto unas dos cuantas cosas fue papá. Yo no puedo buscar todo el crédito. Mientras yo estaba... No, mira, ya casi ya está mi, mi ropa. Que decidí de poner la ropa antes de... De como que sea, mira esta caja grandísima. Mamá decidió de comprarse un nuevo juguete. Bien, bien chévere. Pues estoy feliz por mi mamá. En vez de decir, ay, ¿por qué compraste esa cosa? Voy a estar feliz por ella. Porque, tú sabes, ya los días de, de juzgar a mi mamá por comprarse tantos juguetes, ya voy a dejar esa vaina. Si mi mamá quiere comprarse juguetes, que se compre todo lo que ella quiera. Yo solamente voy a estar feliz por ella. Oh, la batería. La misma batería se usa para todo. Este es el soplador. Antes teníamos dos, pero se dañó una. Esta es la segunda. Ay, ojalá que sirva con esto. Ok. Ahora esto lo voy a usar para darle una limpiecita a esto. de cafeína vamos a esta cobita para ver si podemos limpiar un poquitico más esta parte de aquí que está bien sucia Papales, no va a ver esto, pero si lo ve, me imagino que estuviera feliz que, que lo hice. Y otra cosa también que, que acaba de pensar, si papá Alex empieza a sufrir lo mismo que sufrió sus tías y su abuelo, Ojalá que pueda ver mis videos para que yo lo pueda cuidar. Pero él es muy independiente, que no le gusta ayudar a nadie. Yo no. El que me puede ayudar, yo acepto la ayuda inmediatamente porque yo no tengo mi, el, el ego mío, el ego, como se dice el ego. Es como si no existiera. Claro, todos tenemos higo, pero yo solo yo solo realizo que el higo pues, no te va a asistirte para nada esencialmente. Solamente para establecer quién eres tú. Y en la realidad, en la realidad quiénes somos. Nosotros solamente estamos aquí por un poquitico de tiempo y en ese poquitico de tiempo la única razón por la que estamos aquí es para la servitud al amor ok, ok, ya eso, ya, ya eso está bien mira todo esto aquí Oye, hablando de eso, el último Serena Live, el anfitrión fue Ryan, Go Ryan Gosling. A mí me encanta Ryan, Go Ryan Gosling. Súper simpático.
súper cómico también. Y también me gusta el hecho que él es como una persona normal. En mi opinión. Ay. Pero la que sí le tengo que dar el crédito es a Emma Stone. Okay. Ahora vamos a empezar metiendo esto adentro. Esto lo hace así con esto. Y aquí tengo que tener cuidado para que no le pega nada. Tengo que tener cuidado donde estoy pisando. Lo pongo, lo trato de ponerlo aquí más profundo. Por donde se pueda poner. Esta es la bicicleta que a mí me encanta, la que yo quiero arreglar. Porque tú ves esta parte aquí, esta es como estilo Dutch, que es fácil para montarse y para salirse. Y es un cruiser, tiene una cosita acá atrás, tiene el cosito hasta aquí. Es de hierro, eso es lo único, el marco es de hierro, no es de, uh, uh, no es de aluminio. Pero está bien. Pero lo único que tengo que comprar una llanta blanca. Eh, obviamente el, el neumático no importa. Pero también sí tengo que comprar una llanta, una, una llanta blanca. Tengo que reemplazarla porque recuérdense que a Maradel le encantaba subirse aquí. Al regreso de la casa. No tiene frenos aquí. Los frenos están aquí. Es súper fácil manejar esa bicicleta y me encanta. Ok. Ahora para el resto. Buscar el resto de la isla. Ya les dije a papá les que uh, si no la hago hoy, la hago mañana. Vamos a coger mi, mi tripod, que realmente es para el iPad. Esto lo dejamos aquí afuera porque eh, la otra parte está enfrente de la casa. Mira todas estas, estas hojas. Mi papá me está recomendando que las hojas las les, les haga así Porque todas las que recogí esta mañana hubo gente que estuvo haciendo trabajo, trabajo al frente y todas las zonas ahora están al frente de la gente de nuestro hogar. Esto estaba acá arriba. La batería déjame sacarla porque la tengo que ponerla a cargar. Ah, salte de ahí, no joda. Ah. Y ya, eso es todo. Vamos a apurarnos para lavarnos las manos y para empezar con el próximo oficio. For battery, gotta put the charge in the charger. So plug this sucker in. That's the battery that died. It should not have. We gotta take it to the store and tell them what's up. But it should not have gone bad. We have them in order for the year. This is right in here. And then I got the other one also. I put push it out, push it out. Blinking green, that's good. That means it's charging. Okay, ciao. All right, so here is what it looks like after I used a scissor. I swept a little bit. The edging looks a little bit nicer. And as you can look at the top, that's where I did not edge. Here is a photo of the aloe vera plant that it's tried to die, but nature always finds a way. Be blessed. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. If you made it till now, you are a legend. I really appreciate you. 
And if you would be so kind to share, subscribe, like, comment, I really, really appreciate that. Thanks, thanks. Bye.